Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, um, you may notice something's a little bit different. Yes, oh my, I, I cannot get over how good Claire looks. I mean, seriously. You may have noticed that we're in uh, Elsa Walker's um, costume. Now, for a lot of people that don't know, uh, before Resident Evil 2, as we knew it, came out back in the day, um, Resident Evil 2 was supposed to be a very, not very different game, but quite a different game. And uh, Claire didn't exist, and the main character shown off was called Elsa Walker, and that was her outfit. And that's one of the outfits they've added in. What did I do then? Well, I brought the uh, DLC day one pack thing uh, from the store. Now, you don't get everything that you get on the PC version, but you do get uh, one Samurai's Edge, whereas on the PC I've got three or four. Something like that. Uh, but we've got Albert's model. I thought we'd give it a go. Um, I have played back through um, up to this point. Just so we can get uh, the cool guns and whatnot. Um, I thought we'd give this a little look at. I mean, I've as I said, I've played back up to this point. It doesn't feel like it does any more damage or anything. It just says it's been customised for robust performance. Uh, I think Jill's one, off the top of my head when I was playing it on the PC. Because you get Jill's and Chris's as well. Chris's, uh, Jill's one's supposed to be quicker to draw, and they all look different, and it goes into how they're different as well. Like, hers has got a shorter, lighter slide. Uh, Chris's, I think you can fire Chris's faster. Um, but anyway, we're not going to worry about that shitty little five-shot magazine we have anyway. So let's continue the game. We're going through here. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find us a liquor. Go lick that liquor. Quite looking forward to them, to be honest. There we go. And having a five round like capacity is just pup, to be honest. We don't want any of that business. Now, in the original, we should see the liquor running through that window there. But, of course, we don't get that here. Which is curious. Literally loads of uh, people that I know uh, inf informing me that they're all coming home from work to play this, which is good. This game must be selling pretty well. So we've got a helicopter coming. Okay. Hello, buddy. You're not uh, looking so good. Oof. Oof. Who's there? Who's there indeed? Ooh, Mr. Liquor. Is that you? How the fuck did that guy get up there, though? Like, that's what I want to know. Well, we're not getting through there anyway. Now, we've got some boards. We can block up some windows. Or at least a window. Should we just stick that there? I don't know if zombies can break through those eventually. Or if they're permanent barricades. I guess we're going to find out. But also, like, nothing I've changed, I feel, changes the game. Because I genuinely believe this outfit makes more sense for her. Being a biker and all the rest of it. And it was pissing down with rain and all the rest of it. So it makes sense that she'd have her leathers on. Hey, buddy. And it also makes sense that as soon as you get to an RPD. You would uh, what the hell? fairly quickly find a decent handgun. So. That's what I'm basing that on. Sit down, you sack of shit. I think she's down. And that's the thing, you don't know if zombies are down anymore. You know? Ah, it, oh, it's so good. Right, 
get some more. We're getting a lot of bullets, actually. Didn't get this many bullets last time in the demo. Well, I don't know, actually. I vaguely remember there being lots of bullets. But look how cool the police station is. This place is really messed up. Record of events, September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. Mm. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safety behind emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it will be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. Interesting. They still mention that. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died, and there's only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. David Ford. Noted. Sounds like that Zed's getting back up as well. Yeah, I know how the map works, mate. Now, question is, do we... No, I think we're okay. I don't know whether we're going to put that Z down or not. Hey, fella. You ain't getting nothing out of that vending machine there, buddy. Let's do this. Come on, Claire. Yeah, seriously, Claire. These guys are pretty tough. It's got to be said. I wonder if, like, slashing them when they're on the floor is even worth it. Ha! <laughs> Trophy earned. Don't need no stinking gun. So, like, is he dead? And I wonder, does this wear the knife out using it like this? I mean, I don't think it should, to be honest. But it does. Okay. I wonder if they've made the knife better then to counteract the fact that they don't last. And we haven't found the weapons locker key that we found in the demo. West office. Safety deposit room. Let's have a little look in here. Let's put a fresh magazine in there. So what have we got here? Storage locker terminal memo. It appears the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck up this badly? It's only a couple of keys, surely. Okay. Alright. So, we want to open 102. 103's got another knife in it, okay. This is 106, 109. Now, we got the weapon key card before, but we don't have it this time around. Oh, look, grenades and the grenade launcher. So, Claire doesn't get the shotgun. Oh. Alright, you. Come on, buddy. Let's do this. Ooh, it's you, the armless one. It's alright, Claire. We've got it. We've got this. Okay? We've got this. This guy is ours. Ooh, he's getting back up. Oh. Okay. I think the knife might be somewhat effective at least so we want to open six and we can't do three or any of the ones on the other side but we can do those ones okay so we'll take what we can get for now roll of film we'll have it And the bullets, nice. So our, ha our knife is already down to half health, so... Uh, yeah, the knife... 
The knife ain't great. What have we got in there? We've got some grenades. Uh, is that like a bag or something? I don't know. Alright, let's go. So, we've got choices. Let's check out the West Office. This, of course, is Leon's... I've got gunpowder as well. Which we can use to make ammo. How does that work? So, handgun ammo is two lots of gunpowder. Acid rounds. Gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder. Submachine gun ammo. High-grade gunpowder times two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things. Or you won't get what you need. Hmm. Alright. We can do that. Oh, more bullets. Nice. Jojo. Oh, Jojo's the only one that's mentioned. Alright, buddy. I thought you were going to get up on me. Come on, sweet cheeks. We know he's an asshole. Alright. Ooh! Critical. Oh, fuck, buddy. You ain't getting back up. Let's dump that mag out. So what have we got here? Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. Okay. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Put the letters in order of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Uh, make sure to get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take you a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Uh, scrawled in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Shit. Kind of a somber note. Ooh. Yeah? Got something to say, pal. Hello. You're not a pretty guy, are you? That's okay. Good work, Claire. Claire's not to be fucked with. Are you actually dead, dead? Uh, no. Now are you dead, dead? Nope. Dead, dead? Dead. Dead, dead, dead. He's dead, Jim. Right, so, how the fuck do we find out what their names are? I'm guessing... On their desks they have names, maybe? So that's Neil. Neil Carlson. Elliot Edward. Ah, he's the guy that gave us the... Um... book and David Ford right so we have N E D N E D okay N E D Ned okay one down Let's go for this one. Oh, first break in. Cool. Uh, okay. Not actually seeing one for him, but Rita and Marvin. Rita and Marvin. Okay, so we know Rita, Marvin. Or is he Marvin? Rita. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Just a little bit of guesswork. What do we have in Leon's desk? Speed loader. 
Oh. Custom part for the SLS60 greatly reduces reload time. Good to know. We'll certainly take it, but uh, we're not that bothered. Because we have this. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. So this used to be a museum. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel, or the sewers aren't infested with zombies. But I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can do about that tunnel. Hmm. Alright. So that's the west office taken care of. So we can't get into that one. Operations room. That's a safe. I like the way like important things are marked on the map. I know that's the club door. So I guess we're going down this hallway next. Got plenty of bullets. Ah, and not only do we have plenty of bullets, but this is a save room. It is kind of weird that there's no save room music though. I don't know about that. It's, yeah, uh, it's a little bit unsettling. Right, we've got gunpowder there. I don't know if I want to use the gunpowder yet. We leave it until we're desperate, I suppose. Um, store that there. Don't need that herb. We're going to eat that herb. Store you. We're going to use the roll of film in a minute. What we could do, I suppose. Take that bad boy. And that bad boy. And customize. Let's examine it. See what it says. Five shot capacity. Um, no millimeter handgun. It's smaller capacity. Yeah, allows for its small size, making it extremely easy to handle. Hmm. Kind of a bit shit though. And there's the speed loader. Combine. There we go. Doesn't actually seem to change the look, but then it wouldn't do, really. Customizer. Right, let's use a herb. So we're back to fine. Um, the basics of survival. Okay, we're literally milking our trophies right now. Um, we're going to leave that there. What else do we have? We've got the film that we're going to use. We really don't need that. It's a shame you can't take the bullets out. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. It's actually a light in here. Oh, now the music comes in. Now the music comes in. Okay. Cool. Alright, let's develop the film. How cool is that? You can actually have a look at all this stuff as well. Look at all these cameras. I mean, you got to bear in mind, this is back in 1998. Technically. Um, film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Right, let's stick that back in there. Alright, and we can save the game. But we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, don't forget the gunpowder either. Stick that sucker back in there. And we have a diary to read as well. Excellent. Put that. Oh. No. Forward. Store. Store. Lovely. Uh, let's drop a save there. It is counting saves. Which is curious. So is that going to drop our um, skill down? Our rank down? Uh, medicinal benefits of herbs. Yeah, yeah. 
Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we shall explore three such herbs native to the Arkley Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, whilst blue herbs have a long... Uh, been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, they are visually appealing. They offer no medical benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining herbs together produces blends that heighten the herbs' effect. But it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produce a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. Truly, we have only just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and their abilities to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Hmm. Alright. Got this bastard out here. I've got some boards. Let's take these. You fuck. Oh, buddy! Gutted, mate! Ah, oh. Yeah, you can fuck right off, pal. I'm assuming... Uh-oh. Who the hell is making all that noise? Who? Ah, oh, hello! You got the high ground. Oh, Whoa! We're gonna have to deal with this guy. Uh oh, has he broken through? Oh, okay, he's broken through, but he hasn't broken through, if you know what I mean. Right, come on. Not good. Not good. Need to be a lot more careful with our ammo than that. Yeah, he's not dead. Ooh. I think he's dead now. Probably use another one of these. Another one of these uh, knives, to be honest, before long. You gonna get up, love? What's she got? More bullets. Are you sure you're not gonna get up? Yeah, yeah she's gonna get up. Okay. The knife isn't super effective. Effective, yes, but not super effective. What the fuck? What's up, Claire? You know it's a zombie, alright? You know all about these zombies now. You're an expert in the extermination of the undead at this point. She's down. Target scratched. So we can go up there. Now that's a steamy room. I wonder if the same thing's gonna happen in here. Evening, fella. I guess so. Ah, we need locker combination for that. That's a kick in the knickers. Ooh. Two flame rounds. Uh, portable safe instructions. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you need to start the sequence again. Portable safe. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Okay. This is cool. Hmm. Small, lightweight, portable safe. Uh, can see this being irritating. So that's. Okay, so it's that one, 
that one, that one. No. God damn it. That one, that one, that one. Wait, what? I thought that was right. Ah. No, so that, that, no, that, that. Oh, I see. I see. So you can only go one way around the board. So if I do that, I have to push that one. I'm with ya. I'm with ya. So... What's that one? Right, okay. Oh, this is going to be... Well annoying. Damn it. Fuck. No. Can we? No. And then. So what's? That one, okay, so, boop. That's the one we want to be on first, and then that one, then that one, then that one, that, no, not that one. Um, no. <sighs> right. We can crack this. This better be worth it. So it's that one next. Okay. So we want you, 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 you. Shit. What was it next? No. Well, actually, that works. Uh. Ah, oh, bollocks. Nope. Now, which that one? So, that one, that one, that one, that one. Damn it. So, it's that one next. Alright, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Which one is it here? That one. Okay. Uh, that one. That one. Ah, fuck. We, it's like literally one or the other here and we fucked it up. And by we, I of course mean me. Uh, damn it. My brain is so bad at these things, guys. This is going to be really annoying. I mean, I guess we could just kind of do it that way, I suppose. Uh, oh, fuck. It's kind of fun, to pleasing to push these buttons. But I digress. Right, come on. Let's start there. No. Yeah, that'll do. So it's that one. Come on. Get your head in the fucking game here. God damn it. Oh shit. Um Oh man. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we're there. I thought I was going to have to a vote like mine. I thought I was going to have to skip through that then. Oh. That's one of the keys for downstairs. Let's go play with the keys downstairs. Because that will actually allow us to open some more doors. 
buddy, fuck off, all right? Just, just fuck off. My mind is already fragile and broken. All right, let's. Oh. So, can we take that key out? I guess not, but now we can have three. So now we can, oh, we can get another knife. I mean, I, I guess. I was wondering if we could switch that. Nope. Shame we can't remove that button. Or can we? Right, give me that. Definitely need that. So we can't... No, we can't actually take that button back, which is a bit of a pain. Probably not going to find another... button for it for ages. God damn it. There's nothing. Oh, I was going to say there's nothing down here, but yeah, there is. Nice. Alright. Cool. So let's keep pushing upstairs. Oh, I suppose actually we're on half an hour here, so. Um, let's drop a save for now. When we come back, we we'll continue exploring upstairs. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.